Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Tourist Bus Simulator. It has been a while, I know, but I recently saw that Update 6 went live and as I was going through the change log, one item particularly interested me. I saw this item that said added new photo mode. Photo mode guys, finally! It's, it's been my number one most requested feature for TML because they have such an amazing beautiful game but it's so hard to take photos in it. Oftentimes I would crash into other vehicles as I try to take a photo in the highway. But now you can easily just press the home key, that's a default assignment. And from here you have a myriad of options, field of view, rotate the camera. You can also of course move as you want, go up, fly, take a drone shot whatsoever. All these options are available. Again, you can even change the time of day. So you can make it noon or night, take a photo, and then when you go out, it goes back to the original time. It's amazing. And also, aside from that, there is the depth of field, so you can blur it out if you need to. Or, uh, well, I'm not such a fan of the depth of field option. The blur is, well, I, I'm sure some of you guys can make that work, but... For me, not personally, I just keep everything crisp like so. And then you can change the contrast even. And there are a couple of different options in here, saturation. So more dramatic shots like that. Oh, that's actually very dramatic looking. Huh? If you change the field of view, so it doesn't look that. And go back here maybe. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. And then change the gamma, the gain. There's even the super sharp mode, which I'm not sure what's for. Change the exposure. The levels, the highlights. And you can even add dramatic effects. The, what the hell do you pronounce this? Vignette? Vignette? It's a very famous common effect. Instagram shots. Graininess. Chromatic aberration, whoa, which just makes me dizzy. <laughs> Let's not do that again. And you can make it a high resolution screenshot, and then from there you can just take a photo like so. Um, st it takes a while if you have the high resolution screenshot in there. And voila, after you exit, you are back to reality. Yeah, it's amazing, guys. Anyway, for today's uh, trip, I bought the Scania Touring because you guys have been requesting for it and I left it in its white paint for its purity because it looks great as it is and we are going on a very long trip so long in fact it's coast to coast and not only that it's end to end so Morohable to Coralejo and then back because this is a normal bus line line 430 and I think it will take some time for the the trip to finish so we'll have to probably do this in multiple episodes but i am enjoying this a lot so hopefully you guys will enjoy the ride as well sit back relax and buckle up because it will get a bit bumpy i've noticed some issues with this bus as beautiful as it is but you'll see that soon enough right let's go with this i don't think we need to open that for a bus line but that's going to be a-okay all good. Let's close the doors. Uh, if you haven't seen this bus before, it's an amazing bus. Scania Touring, available also in Fern Bus. It's a separate DLC that you have to purchase. But if you purchase one, in Fern Bus or in Tourist Bus, you get it on both games. I love that steering wheel uh, vibration there. And the sounds, the sounds in this coach, they really improved it. Oh, hear that. Clickety bouncy indicator sounds the parking brake super ASMR-ish the engine sounds leave a bit to be desired though um, not so sure how we can make that work but yeah hear the engine it's not the best the audio levels are not consistent But I think a workaround is to simply lower the windows a bit. 
like that so we can hear the outside and it's louder it's more even and just balance it because if you open the windows too much you won't hear the indicator sounds anymore so it's a very fine balance also i think one thing i've been trying to do this job a while ago and it wasn't working i had to reload the game no one was riding the bus i think it's because i'm missing some stuff um one sec so let's go and oh no please leave yeah don't go don't go too close to me thank you let's stop here before we get on that bus stop there are a couple of people waiting there but i think they won't ride with me until i do something one sec let's stop in the middle of the road because we're professionals like that destination display on that's the one because it was off a while ago and no one was riding with me i hope that's enough and let's go and turn on the air conditioning set it to hello um there we go now it's working 21 degrees uh wi-fi restroom kitchen hostess reading light passenger lights i think that's all good all right okay I think that's good and now we they know that we are bus line 430 and now they know that they can ride here if this is the route they're taking okay let's go for it so turn on the lights here but well, it's still a bit dark there we go let's see if anyone will ride with us i tried this a while ago no one was riding but i did have the destination display off so maybe that was it There we go. It's working, guys. And, and did you notice? They're actually walking towards the bus now. It's still a bit weird because they would walk to the back of the bus and they would teleport to where they're sitting like that. But, I mean, it's a step forward, right? Before, they just disappear from where they're standing outside, teleport inside the bus. Now, they're actually walking. I think that's one of the recent updates, not the newest one, but that has been there before. But that's very, very cool. 5.56, let's go and skip time to 6 a.m. See if there's anyone else who's going to join us. Wow, this is amazing. This actually feels like OMSI, right? Or it's like bus simulator. Not just like a coach simulator, which we're familiar with with Fernbus. But now we are actually like a proper bus going to bus stops waiting i think people ride that's cool and now we can i guess close the lights here man and yeah now we have very nice graphics as well let me tell you something about that i had to spend hours today tweaking my graphics working on the settings and making this work because the performance is not the best at least not in 60 frames so if you look at the image quality in your video as you're watching, you should see that there's a 1440p resolution available. So I'm recording this at 1440p. Um, and initially, I was recording it at 60 frames per second, which is the normal one, normal uh, recording I use for truck sim, for bus sim, for everything except X-Plane. But... For some reason, it would not work for this game. It would always uh, stutter. Like, it would reach 60, but when it's loading up some of the objects, like, I don't know, when it's loading up some of the map, it would stutter very bad and go up to 40 to 30. And it's going to be... It was very uh, immersion-breaking. Yeah, It was a uh, not very nice experience. So I then realized that the best resolution or the best frame rate for this game is actually 30 that is where the constant um, frame rate is happening so when i hit the fps here you see the 30 almost flat rarely going down very consistent frame time so no stutters and very fluid experience and uh, a winner all in all so we are sticking with 30 fps for now 1440 at 30 and i think it's not bad actually 
because it gives us very crisp quality and very consistent frame rate. Is someone going down the bus as well? Look at that. Lots of people are actually riding with us. Later, when we get to the next bus stop, let's check if we have people dropping off. Okay, we're good. Do we have like a time for each bus stop or it's just an entire... I don't think there is a time, so we don't, we don't need to hurry. I guess they're more laid back here. Uh, there's no such thing as bus... Um, how do you call it? You know how you have to be at a certain bus stop at a certain time? Like in OMSI, like in a normal bus. Here I don't think there is. It's just, it will arrive when it arrives, you know. Until then, just enjoy the sun, bask in its glory, and uh, have fun. Off you go. Loving the graphics here though. They really made a ton of improvements ever since the, this game first came out. I've been waiting the longest time for the updates to come out, and finally it's here. So I'm happy to be back. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this series as well. It's been a long time coming, but I really like it. You know, I also like the economy part, you know, not just the driving, but actually managing a company and uh, making it work, making it earn money. I'm not sure I am able to do that just yet, but I surely am enjoying this and uh, struggling but getting there bit by bit. So we're going to grow our empire here in Fuerteventura and see how far it takes us. Okay, I think we go straight here. I am a bit slow, aren't I? 110 is the speed limit here. I'm only going at 60. There we go, speeding up bit by bit. How's the frame rate? Frame rate is 30. Yes, and it's very constant. I like. Let's keep that as is. So there will be still a few stutters as we go through the map, as we as the, the map loads and everything, but those should be minimal now. So at least we get a very nice, very immersive experience through and through. Okay, let me try and there you go. The steering can be a bit hard sometimes. It really fights you. They really put a lot of force feedback into this. You can lessen it, but I kind of like the workout, you know. <laughs> free workout, free gym workout, just by driving. I'm liking it. But yeah, I really like this. You know, because the, the usual stuff that you're familiar with is the coach uh, approach, the shuttle service, where you take people from one place, you check them in, you take them to another, and that's that. But I kind of miss this as approach, you know, a normal bus line where you have multiple stops and you go through cities. Ouch, I think we lost our bumper right there. And uh, yeah, just behaving like a normal bus. That is something that I really like. Maybe it would be nice to buy some of the other buses as well in the future. And I think the MAN City bus is also here, so that might be perfect. But I mean, we are driving coast to coast, so maybe a coach isn't that bad. Though normally, if you have bus stops, you don't normally use a coach in it. Coaches are normally for shuttle services, I would guess. Turning right through here. Costa Calma. There you go. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this series and if you do, let me know. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, the like button, because that's how I know that you guys are into a series. And comment, that's the main thing. If you guys don't comment and I don't know, because I, I don't normally look at the number of views, not even the number of likes so much, but YouTube finds that very helpful, so please continue to do that. But for me, it's really the the comments where I know if you like something or not. Yeah, look at that. This is the problem I was showing you. I hit the guy, but if you look, we're actually very far away, but I'm actually hitting him, the game's saying. So the, I think the bounding boxes for this boss is a bit too exaggerated. So when you're trying to estimate if you're close to something, 
you'll fail when it's really very skimpy quarters like this so i think it's a bit tricky to use this in tourist bus sim because it can be very tight in these roads and you need every inch you need every centimeter but if the bounding box is a bit off then yeah it will lead to more damage this bus i actually bought second hand because the original one i think cost around 300,000 euros and uh, this one was selling for a hundred thousand it was broken down it was uh, like everything was bad like the oil the, the maintenance was not very well done so i had to have my mechanic work on this consume a lot of parts but i think all in all i, I was able to save a lot some people are actually going down uh, they're, they're getting a bit lost but um, i'm not so sure anymore what's happening if they're riding with us or not that lady seems to be lost okay there you go ah i see <laughs> that's the path so they're just looping around yeah the, the pathing can still work uh it needs a bit of improvement but it's nice to see that they're actually riding the bus now how come i don't recall having a bus line like this i don't recall using this uh, having this kind of bus line in tourist bus before is this new or has it been just too long that i don't remember it anymore okay looks good Okay, off we go. Oh, there's a car right there. Thank goodness for side mirrors. And yes, the side mirrors are very high quality as well. So the settings for this game, I was able to do everything at epic settings. Highest anti-aliasing, post-processing, shadows, render distance and all that stuff. Everything epic, everything maxed. But yeah, as a result, I can only go up to 30 FPS. Which is not bad actually. After you drive in it for a while, you don't notice it anymore. Like normally if you're used to 60 fps once you go down to 30 it looks very bad it looks very framey but watch something in 30 fps for a couple of seconds a couple of minutes and you will actually not notice it anymore like now you still notice it well you notice that stutter but if it's smooth it's actually not bad right and that's what i noticed so a constant frame time, constant frame rate is much better even if it's lower than having 60, 30, 60, 40, 60, 40 versus just having 30 all throughout. It's, a, it's much more pleasing, much more natural to the eyes. So I try to limit my frame rate now. Don't always go to 60 but only to where my system is capable of doing it. Let's see if this guy will move. Um, not sure. I think he's taking the sign too literally. Maybe he's waiting for that to say go. <laughs> for worst cases like this, thank goodness there's the backspace key where the cars must just magically disappear. That is for in case they do something weird like this. So you go close to them and you do the backspace. And you can just imagine that they went on their merry way. It's a nice workaround. Because they know, the developers know that the AI is not perfect. Sometimes they screw up. And uh, that is a good solution to get rid of those uh, bad actors. Man, look at the, the shadows, guys. Looks very natural, right? Just the right amount of blurred shadows in there, not too crisp. This makes it makes it very real looking. I love it. Also, if you look at the GPS, I like how they fixed that. They now have this orange, dark orange and yellow lines to show you which is your immediate route and which is your part of your route, but not yet your immediate turn, so that you can differentiate when you are going through somewhere multiple times, the same junction. At least you know that you are going there right now or maybe just still later oh let's try photo mode one thing here guys one watch out if you go to photo mode right now so the game will pause right yeah, wow look at that beauty 
that's actually very nice but it's a bit dramatic color management I think is too much we can lower that a bit yeah that like so but you st you're stuck inside actually you're stuck inside you can't go out so if you want an external oh actually you could I didn't know that yeah, interesting I thought you couldn't go out how did I do that maybe that was an accident because now I can't go in anyway so we got out so this is amazing photo mode finally yes 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 definitely so we can tilt that change the field of view oh my goodness that just looks so good I think the keys could do a bit of improvement but look at that that would be something I would never have been able to manage before that would have been impossible before but now everything is in our fingertips absolutely lovely take that photo amazing stuff guys all right now <laughs> so if you want to go outside like that I think what you can do is go to external view and press home immediately so like go outside press home at least you're outside already yeah so that works either way look at that I don't know I don't know about you but I know there are some of you guys like me. Hi, I'm clumsy. And I'm a photo addict. Because how can you resist, right? Photo mode for the wind, lens flares and everything. This is what this game has been missing. And now it's here. So now, you can all maximize the beauty. The capabilities. The visual capabilities of this game. There we go. Loving it. It feels so colorless now that we've uh, grown used to the saturated view. Man, I love that. I absolutely love that feature. That was my most requested feature way, way back. I think even before Tourist Bus got released. Because I really was enjoying Fern Bus. But I always kept crashing when I was trying to take photos in the highway because you would have to go to external view, go and look at the back, and you wouldn't know where you're going, right? Because you're looking at the back. And sometimes there would be cars on the way, sometimes it would be just a, a, a bending highway. But I would get into all these accidents and I didn't have a fighting chance. But now, just press home. Photo mode for the win. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's go and uh, try out and check out the other updates let's give them a chance as well let's see so if i can read that new loading screen oh yeah they did have new loading screens and there are a couple of interesting useful tips now there it's actually able to learn a lot there they've been telling about the effects sound the sound effects that you can change the the volume level for each one for the blinkers for the engine for the ai so it's much more customizable now. Even the AI indicate. Nice. That's nice. So you know if you can go in the roundabout already or have to wait for them to pull, pull through. Going on this next one. Thank you. Also the physics seems to have improved. The force feedback has strengthened, so it really feels like a real bus that you're driving and not just a toy car. Feels rightfully heavy. Uh, they did say fixed various game breaking crashes after the beginning and during the game. That's definitely a showstopper. I've been seeing a couple of people uh, complaining about crashes in the game, but now they fixed that and those people who have complained before did confirm that it is now fixed, so that's good. Uh, I do have right of way, right? Yes, that's the stop sign. <clears throat> so the game is more stable. 
they added performance fixes and improvements and I can definitely feel that and although 60 frames is not attainable yet at least not in my rig and if you are interested in seeing my specs about that is in the about page there should be a link in the video description but yeah it's a uh, it's not the most powerful PC, but it should be pretty up there. It should be capable of reaching 60 FPS at least. I have a GTX 1070. I have a Ryzen 3rd Gen 3600. Or no, no, 3700, sorry. 3700X. And I have 16 gigs of RAM. So it's no pushover. Now top of the line, but no pushover. But yeah, with this game, I can only reach 30 consistently 60 is a stretch i would have to turn down settings and even then it's not consistent did i crash into something no, no clue oh stuttering yeah i don't think we can get rid of stuttering 100 percent because it's just how the game is when it loads sometimes it uh, needs a second or something or two but overall, I am really loving the driving experience. Once you get used to those quirks, when you, once you know what to expect, then it's perfect. Also, I like for how Fuerteventura is pretty chill. Um, even though I don't really see the speed limit in the GPS here, because if you look at the GPS screen, and if you look at the lower right corner, there seems to be like a dot there, right? Can you see it? I'll zoom in there. Yeah? See the dot in the lower right? That is actually the speed limit, believe it or not. And it, I don't understand why the developers have made it that small. Because no one can read that, not even an ant. So I guess they're not used to people using that GPS. They're more used to people using the tab, the overlay. Where was it? Let me show you this one uh, that one is what we're familiar with and with that one they can show you the the speed limit properly so that's where they are have it properly set up but I don't like overlays I try to get rid of them as much as possible so that we get the most immersive experience so that's what I play with and I can still see the map so that's great but yeah the speed limit suffers because of that but thankfully, in Fuerteventura, it's not such a critical thing. I think it's more a decoration. Uh, good to know. <laughs> a suggestion, a guideline. I don't think they have many speed radars in here. Although I think there are a few. And if you get unlucky, you'll get some penalty. But overall, I think it's not that bad. And I'm loving the image quality. The shadows, the lighting. They did improve that a lot. Let me read also some of the other updates. They said they removed some foliage from the streets. That's good. Don't like grass growing on the asphalt. Some minor bug and crash fixes. That's always good. Spray corrected when it rains. Ooh, so maybe the spray that's coming off from the, the tires of the vehicles. Maybe that's it. Yes errors in the localizations of asian languages that would be very nice for our uh, chinese folks and japanese maybe and korean maybe thai i'm not sure what localizations are existing man is it just me or are you guys loving this as well even though it's a desert and this is the perfect time i'm sorry about this but the game gave me an, a tool and i'm going to use it because this one just looks amazing that desert mountain like that how beautiful that is guys oh wow field of view i think we can improve lessen the saturation a bit though not make it too dramatic and also the, the vignette effect lessen that Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that might be our thumbnail right there, guys. Not sure about you, but I'm absolutely loving that. It's 
stick one more so that we're sure absolutely lovely photo mode for the win <laughs> for those of you who have who are have been in the channel have been in the clumsy gang in the community for some time then you might not be for surprised at this this uh, frenzy that I'm having because I'm really a fan of photo mode and whenever I go and play a game as beautiful as this it deserves some photo taking otherwise it would be a shame not able to maximize so guys DML developers you guys are amazing thank you for the hard work and thank you for giving us this to us finally oh and it's raining nice I'm hoping my frame rate can continue I'm loving those rain effects by the way look at how clear how uh, realistic those drops are and now we have to turn on our wipers there you go I think it's not strong enough it needs to be faster there seems to be a delay with the wiping it's not one is the one with how the wiper is yeah but it's not that bad I think that can be improved in the future but yes that's maybe what they're talking about those particles spray corrected when it rains it does look very natural it does look very nice maybe that's it uh, what's it what else they said air conditioning sound effects was adapted I'm not sure what that means but if you have more info on it let me know in the comments okay lag when switching web radio stations has been fixed I don't use the radio stations when I'm recording because it's a YouTube doesn't like these songs I would get flagged and copyright issues so better be safe and just let my voice take you all the way through okay <laughs> live with it <laughs> sorry uh, what else the search radius of employee apartments has been fixed I guess uh, I haven't explored that yet buying apartments vegetation shader has been updated I did notice a very nice lighting on the foliage so I do like that animation of vegetation has been updated as well I didn't recognize that but they probably sway with the wind and things like that that's cool what else um, graphics of some whoa, 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 oh crap oh that's a dangerous road it's a dangerous road because it suddenly bends out of nowhere wow that was unfair okay fine yeah normally you wouldn't get those kinds of roads right they would need to be bending at a an organic level like that that's the nice bend not the sudden bends not like the 90 degree angles out of nowhere I do love the shininess on the road though absolutely loving that although I think I am getting let's see still 30 FPS but my GPU is getting a bit more taxed almost maxing out but still 30 so I think 30 is really the magic FPS for me let's close the windows there we go you can hear it again can hear the indicators again loving the graphics of this game they really have improved it a lot tons since it first released oh my goodness thank you not the best bus for this route oh poor poor guys standing in the rain come and take shelter get in the bus guys Come in. There we go. Run for it. Why is She Hulk there? <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's She Hulk again. What's happening with her skin? I think she looks a bit pale. <laughs> Alright, looks good. Thank you. 
I like this. I think I like driving these bus stops. These multiple bus stops. More than the shuttle services. Actually, what I also want to explore is the... What do you call it? The tour? The guided tours? I haven't tried that before. I'm guessing there's a different... Um, different gameplay mechanic there. Man, but look at the lighting here, right? That looks so real. The reflections, the textures, the lighting. My goodness. It really shines when it's raining. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Okay, what else? Uh, let me see what other updates there are in update 6. Update 6. Man. This is a real game changer. Loving it. Graphics of some vehicles fixed. Rain removed in warehouses. That's good. It's not raining inside the warehouses anymore. Sound in Crystal Cave fixed. I'm not even sure where the Crystal Cave is. But yeah, this game is super immersive. It's such a, in, uh, a huge world. Not only purchasing, uh, managing your finances, but exploring the world and buying all those stuff. Buying all the apartments and all the uh, restaurants. I'm not sure if you buy them or the gyms but those are very important to employees so there are employees that if you are hiring them you would need to provide housing for them that's why you need to buy those apartments so, so they're not just for show maybe I can do I can let Mrs. Clumsy take care of the apartments she's really liking house flipper she's really enjoying playing house flipper so she, maybe she'll appreciate uh, setting up the apartments for her employees <laughs> That can be a thing. Uh, do we need lights? Just realized we might need lights. Yeah, I think. I think that's better. There you go. Alright. <coughs> Phew. Very rainy. Didn't know it also rained in Fertiventura. It seemed like it didn't. It seemed like it was always just sunny. I'm not sure actually how far we are already. But I'm guessing we can do like one way in one episode and the other way the next episode. I'm probably going to do... Probably going to record them both together at the same time. Just pre-record it. So don't be mad if I don't uh, react to your comment right away, okay? Hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Tourist bus simulator. There's just so much to do. So many things you can do in it. I thought that, that guy was signaling right. Wasn't he? Yeah, anyway. Maybe I just... Maybe it was my mistake. exit on the next one so let me start indicating turning and exiting that's how you exit the roundabout right i hope i got that right <coughs> i did get some practice in your truck sim Ooh, lots of construction zones here different objects as well slow down a bit but yeah you, you can hardly hear the engine anymore which might be realistic I guess in reality you wouldn't hear the engine so much especially because it's in the back boy what was that the guy just splashed me <laughs> very aggressive drivers all the splashing I think we are nearing the airport. Actually, I think this is the airport. Yeah, that might be. A, that, that's probably our base on the left there. This is the airport where we're going to. It's around about. Any cars there? Nope. Thank goodness for side mirrors. Very nice. I absolutely miss this game. I'm so happy that the ML has been continuing to update it and improve it. Because if they didn't, I probably wouldn't have gone back anymore. 
The bus lane, I think, is on the right side. Yes, that's the one. This one. Feels familiar. I just I guess we just go straight. I think we are not going on the airport itself, but maybe on the the bus terminal next to the airport. This might be for the shuttle services, I'm not so sure. That's fine. Why is it going quiet? That's weird. Maybe it's exp maybe it's thinking I'm under the roof or something. Maybe. I have no clue. So here we have multiple lanes. I think I'm staying here in the middle. No, I should be on the right, right most, but there's a taxi there. So I guess I go through here instead. Actually, it's not, it's not bad. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is the right one. Let's make that huge turn right there. Make a U-turn. Ah, I see it. I see our stop right there. Ooh, lots of people. But at least they have a roof, right? Now let's see if the roof will work. It works, guys. Wow, very nice attention to detail. I like that. That's something that is often overlooked. Right, guys, enter, exit. My side. Lots of German tourists. She Hulk going out, <laughs> and now she's back. When she gets mad, I guess she transforms. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Ooh, look at that. How misty that gets. And you can actually hear still it's raining, but you are under cover, so no problems there. Yeah, that's white properly. Alright, so once we go out here, the rain should commence again. Unless it stopped already. No, there it is. Very nice. Amazing attention to detail awesome stuff guys awesome stuff dml love it absolutely love it this game has improved so much from before ah, i love this you know how how the the progress is the the progression of how the developers are learning, how they're improving their games. I'm loving how that effect is. It's really like a bit of motion blur in there with the particles. Even though I set motion blur to zero, I think when it's raining, there's still something there. But that looks very natural to me. It's very cinematic, actually. Nice. It's a bit of motion blurring in the particles somehow. I can't quite explain it so I guess we push on through until we reach the the stop at the top let me see where that is so if I go to the map that is over here Puerto del Rosario and then to Coralejo that's probably where we stop okay and then we continue next episode the other way around let's hope that works this route we're not the fastest bus but we'll get there eventually and hopefully it stops raining soon because even though it's cool it's not the best visually nice I'm also starting to get used to driving the coach as long as it's not in those skimpy roads, I think I have a chance now. 
but yeah, it, it does take some getting used to with the size and with the handling, with different steering. It's a bit different versus truck sim. Not sure which is more realistic, but I like both of them. They have their distinct styles. And it looks like the rain has stopped finally. And this is nice because you can see that the rain has stopped, but the road is still reflecting. Yeah, the, the road is still wet. It's a very nice effect. And yeah, you're still creating those trails. Now I think I can lower my window again. There we go. Just a bit more engine sound in there. More oomph. But we still keep the indicator sounds intact. I like that, that balance. And yes, I don't even pay attention to the speed anymore. If I get caught speeding, so be it. But I don't think anyone does that over in these parts. As I said, it's basically just a guideline. <laughs> Maybe not, though. Sorry. Oversteer there a bit. Can I go with no lights? I th actually, I think with lights it's better. It's still a bit dark. It's still a bit cloudy. Broker's Casino. Uh, free gym workout. Just by doing this route. Ooh, nice plane there. Can't hear it. Looks cool though. We are next stop. Open the doors. Nice. It's actually always a full bus. Hi. I like it. Hi. You can see them walking there. Not be full, but I guess it works. Oh crap! Sorry, they're still not done going down. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Let's open the doors. Thought they were done. Okay, I think now they're done. Good. The guys behind me are super patient. They didn't think of turning to the left lane and overtaking. They just waited behind me. <laughs> they were so chill, they didn't mind. Oh man, love this. But yeah, clearly the photo mode is the winner. Ah, it feels great. Feels good, man. Thank you again, TML. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one who feels the same way. Because it's such a shame. Like, all these visuals, and you, when you want to share them with other people, you can't. Because, I mean, taking photos is always a risk before. Like, imagine here, this kind of bendy road, and you would have to, like, oh, take a photo immediately. You cannot pause the game, you cannot... Yeah, nothing. So, ah, uh, crap. Bye, bumper. Round two. Very steep roads. Ah, uh, looks like it. It's more like it. Good. You know what would be amazing is if this, this game had multiplayer. So I've been playing a lot of farming recently with the guys over on our server. I started valuing the enjoyment that multiplayer brings. It would be fun, right? Having the different buses being driven by different people and everybody working towards earning for the company. It's a bridge, guys. It's a bridge. For those of you who know me, you know what's happening. It's a photo mode. It's... Oh, crap. How do we go out? There you go. Somehow, I'm able to go out there. 
I don't know how that works, but that's how it works. It does. Uh, roll that way. Ah, which is more scenic, the beach, I guess. Sorry, <laughs> I'm really just enjoying myself here. And if you need to hide this, you can press H. So you can really position where you want it. Like so. And you just press H again if you want to bring it back. I'm going to have a hard time picking my thumbnail later. And look at that, it actually has dirt implemented. So you can see our coach is starting to get filthy now with the, that long trip that we've been driving. So you guys let me know if you are also like me, you are a fan of the photo mode, okay? Let me know in the comments. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It's a bit long, sorry about that, but I think it will be worth it. Please don't, please don't, please don't, I'm going to hit something. Yeah, there it is. I hit something, I don't even want to look what it is. I think it's just the rocks on the right side. That's better than hitting the van on the left. Good. Alright. Keep at it. Phew. So how far are we away? I have no idea. I think we should be fairly close. That might be the next stop that we're looking at. Uh, we'll see shortly though. Bumper, huh? Yeah, the, this uh, this coach was not built for these roads. <laughs> oh, one more thing I wanted to try was the what was it? The BB40, the free DLC that they released. The new, the small shuttle, it's perfect for tourist bus sim. I think it's originally a Toyota, but they probably don't have the copyright, so they didn't. They weren't able to brand it as such. But some people over at the Steam Workshop made some skins for the Toyota BB40 or something, so they are able to do that. Corralejo, straight ahead. Thank you. Yeah, the traffic does listen. They do stop. That's nice. Oh, crap. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> Whoa. These guys are intense. Look at that. <laughs> if you weren't looking at that, I suggest you rewind a few seconds. I guess that's going to be worth the rewind. Oh my goodness. That's like an action movie. But yeah, these roads are too steep. Too dramatically uh, changing vertical wise. The level the levels the level changes are so abrupt. It's not practical for a bus this length. But we can slow down so that's good maybe we just need to slow down more that's more like it that's more like it oh. Oh. my arms are starting to get tired my goodness so I'm not sure guys if I'll record the, the trip back or maybe I'll record another episode but maybe with the BB40 this time. Am I saying it in BB40 or is that the, the the robot in Star Wars? I think that's BB8. Yeah, I think BB40 is the shuttle. I'll think about it but I'll probably record one more video after this one. Uh, let's see how that would work. I'll probably just record the return trip because I still want to do that with you guys for those who have not yet had enough of the Scania touring and the long hauls, the long trips. I am really enjoying this. We'll see. We will see. Oh my, oh my. Wow, episode is almost an hour already, huh? Really sorry about that, guys. But hopefully, you are enjoying this. I know there have been a lot of people requesting for this to come back and I have been holding out 
because uh, yeah, it was not optimized before, there were lots of bugs. It was a great game, but it was not yet too smooth, too uh, polished. But now I think that all the polish is there. And any other adjustments that need to be made are very minor in comparison. Ooh, sandstorm hype. So I think the only thing I would change now is probably the engine sound. But the AI, I think the AI we can live with. They're a bit clunky at times, but they're not as bad as farm sim. <laughs> not, not as good as truck sim, but not as bad as farm sim. So you can live with them. You can get used to them somehow. And the frame rate, the performance continue, just continue the tweaking. Because right now, 30 FPS is good. But 60 FPS constant is even better. I mean, in truck sim, I can do that constant 60. You can even reach 120 FPS in truck sim, but here, 60 is a stretch. It's not feasible. 30 is my my target here. So the, there's a 90 FPS difference, you could say, in the performance between those games. And they are running on different engines, that's true. But, I mean, they should be... It, they're both driving games, they both load the scenery on the fly. So I'm sure more optimizations can be done here as well. I think we're almost there, just looping around here guy was weird floating about car thank you thank you for stopping early yeah sometimes the AI works very well I guess it's pretty pretty true to life right Sometimes there are smart folks, sometimes there are less than smart folks. And you never know what you get. Let's wait for these guys to pass. Actually, they're giving way, thank you. Oh, come on! Bounding box issues, guys. Whenever I hit something, that's who we can blame. Bounding box issues. Is this the last one? I think this one, and then we return all the way down south. Good. I don't think there's anyone riding this here. Man, our bus is filthy. We'll have to wash this one afterwards. Let's wait for them to go down. One by one, they're standing up. And walking down outside the bus. They sure are taking their time though. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. And one more. There you go. Alright. Good. Okay, good. So let us take a short break here and close the engine and we go for a coffee. <laughs> the bus driver going for a coffee break. It is a pretty chill place after all. No need to rush or anything. Are we in Corralejo? Let me just check the map. It seems like it. Yeah, we are in Corralejo. So what we should do here is we actually need to go around and go to the other bus stop. And that's where we go south from there. So we'll continue this next episode, guys. But hopefully you enjoyed that one. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the like button, comment, and share, okay? And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, clumsy busing, clumsy coaching, clumsy tourist busing, guys. Have a good one. Photo mode for the win. Clumsy out.